things that people don't realize with their brushes. In order to make them last a long time, you need to take care of them properly. So let's cover some of the basic brush care things that you need to know. First of all, when you get a new brush, if it comes with a plastic cap on it, remove that plastic cap. That's for shipping purposes only, and you just want to give it a gentle twist, take it off, and discard that. You don't want to try to put that back on the brush because you can get hairs caught in that cap and it'll damage the brush. There's normally a setting in the brush. The first thing you want to do is get the bristles wet, work it in the palm of your hand to work out that setting that's in there, wash it away, give it a good rinse. Once you're using your colors, um, depending on the media that you're using, it's best to condition the brush before you use color. So if you're using watercolors, acrylic colors, or any water-based products, you want to dip the brush into water and really work that moisture through the bristles. And what this will do is it will dampen the hair throughout the brush, so when you dip into paint, that paint won't start to dry in the middle of the bristles. One of the biggest problems is that people don't dampen the bristles and they dip into the color and that color starts to dry instantly in the middle and before you know it your bristles are all going out in different directions because each time you use it a little bit of paint dries into the center of those bristles and it builds up and builds up until it forces the bristles out. If you're working with oil based colors or some other media you'll want to condition the brush with the appropriate medium for that product. Once you've used the color and you've done your painting and you're ready to wash your brush out, um, most people have some type of a container with water. Now this is a brush basin from Royal and Langnickel. What's nice about this is it's got one side with a ribbed area where you can gently pull the brush back and forth across those bumps in the bottom. You don't want to bang the brush up and down in there. I always tell people, treat it like you would treat the hair on your head. You don't want to um, have somebody pick you up and, and bang your head into the bottom. Don't do that with your brush. Brushes don't like that either. Once you've got what you think is most of the color out of the brush, wipe it off on a paper towel. If you still see color coming out on the paper towel, give it more of a rinse. There are other areas in here where there's clean water then, so you can give more rinses in clean water instead of dirty water. And when you see that no more color comes out on the paper towel, your brush is pretty clean. Now, you can also, when you're all done using your brushes, is use a little bit of soap. Again, treat it like you would treat the hair on your head. You can use shampoos, um, you can use inexpensive shampoos, or you can use really good shampoos. But work that brush in a circular motion, back and forth, in the palm of your hand, to work out any of the color that remains. Give it a good rinse. Wash that brush out. Now, one of the biggest mistakes that people make is when they're done washing their brushes out, is they'll stand it upright in a container or a brush holder like this with all of that water in the brush. It's really not very good for it because if that water runs down into the ferrule of the brush from the bristles, it'll work its way into the handle. And wooden handle brushes have a tendency to crack when moisture gets into that wood and it causes the wood to expand, the paint stretches on it, and then when the brush dries out, you end up with flaking paint on the handle, a wobbly ferrule on the brush, and your brush doesn't work very well. It's best, after you've washed the brushes thoroughly, to lay them on a horizontal surface where they can lay out to dry overnight. One of the worst things for brushes is while you're using it is to just take and leave it setting in water. Because again, if the wooden part of the brush starts to absorb moisture, it'll start expanding, the paint will crack, and it'll start peeling. So it's always best, while you're using the brush, um, to, to rinse it out, lay it flat, don't leave it standing in water. Um, if you're just going to be doing it for a minute, these little holders have a neat little feature in it where you can set them in there and it'll keep the tips of the bristle wet while you're still using it so the paint doesn't dry up. So with proper care, your brushes can last a long, long time.